Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Buna and Buma and you are welcome to a single sister segment and today we have a very interesting issue at hand you know one of our sisters our loyal sisters is going through some situations in her relationship and she wished that we could sort her out so this is what she texted us she said can i marry a man i have had sex with after we have both decided to stop i love god but i don't know how i have found myself doing this with my boyfriend that that is the sex okay i told him we can't continue since he said he wants to marry me we concluded no sex again until we were married no we concluded no sex again until we are married sis do you think god will still approve our marriage <laughs> yeah sometimes you know when you get involved in something it's just so hard especially if you are if you were that kind of a born again christian and now you see yourself doing things that you never thought you could get into but let me go straight to the point will god approve our marriage i don't want to step in the shoes of god but what i do know is that our god will be happy if you two get a hold of yourselves and come to a mutual conclusion about exactly what you want and how to go about it because god is not an utter of confusion so definitely god was not happy that you were involved in premarital sex or fornication but god will sure be happy if it gets to the point that you both know what you are going into or you have been into and now you are coming out clean and you want to get to really do things the right way i am thinking that you have repented of your sins right because you have decided to stay away from this premarital sex or this fornication that is going on between you because you want to have a good marriage you want to um, have something that god would approve of that god will be involved in and i want to say that you have to be deliberate about this remember if you taste honey it will be so difficult to see honey and not taste it why because of the memories because of an experience because of a knowledge of it so now you know each other because of the chemistry involved in you too so what you have to do is to give yourself at most six months distance yourself from each other get more into your spirituality get closer to god because you need to repent you need to pray you need to get back on track with the lord jesus christ he has something to tell you but most of the times because we have clouded our judgment our pathways into hearing what god has for us we end up driving god away so you need to get yourself in the spiritual Form, wear that spiritual gown and let God speak to you maybe God has a message for you it might be that he is not even the one you know it might be that um, you both have okay wasted your time but he is not the one someone else is there for you you know the whole thing because God works in mysterious ways sometimes I feel some things we get into are, are just as a means for us to really get to know the will of God for us or really get to know the plans of God for us or even to get ourselves away from setting truth we hold on to ourselves for example the Bible, the Bible says that um, there's a way that seemed right to a man but the end thereof is distraction say you have gotten involved in this relationship you have had sex with him the sex was good and then now you get to know a whole lot about this man how because at the end of the day you have lost your pathway to christ and somebody who makes you lose your pathway to christ isn't gonna be better off for you in future that is the hardest truth okay so that is where i want to come in for now and another point is what truth even though you are involved in premarital sex apart from the sex what else is it about this man is he truthful are you honest enough to notice the how good he is not to you i are, are you like encouraged enough even though you have had sex with him 
be truthful to yourself if he is not the right person for you a lot of times ladies would normally mar the truth they want to blind the truth because of sex now to be real sex isn't anything the truth is that you can have sex in the relationship and you can go because it's it's a mutual chemistry that can happen but if the truth is hidden if the truth is clouded because you have blinded the truth by sex or with sex you are going to suffer the consequences and that is what women go through oh he has had sex with me i have sold my pride i have given him more than um i could have you know given to anyone he he he's no the truth is my sister the pride you have sold out is the same pride he has sold out to you the energy he has given out is the same energy you have given out and that is why the sex was good and you went back to it it was on a mutual level that was why the sex was good now if you both did not give if you both did not receive there was no way the sex would have been good that is the honest truth so it doesn't matter it's a man or a woman the fact that you both were involved in sex doesn't mean that one person has given more than the other in fact you have both sold your birth rights you have both sold your fundamental rights you have both sold your christianity or your spirituality and you are all sinners in the face of god and so i would say look deeper into him is he good for you is he the man for you is he kind is he loving are you happy with him does he make you happy there's a difference between how you feel about somebody and how the person makes you feel if he is not the one don't go ahead and marry him because you had sex with him sex is nothing have you heard move ahead if he's not the one don't subject or subdue yourself because of sex now i want you to sit down and rethink about this in your heart apart from the sex what is there to him that you want to get married to all right it's not about the approval of god you can you can go ahead and marry but the consequences that ripples after this is far beyond the forgiveness of god because you are going to go through it and you are going to suffer it okay so i have spoken about first of all you staying away get repenting of your sins and getting back spiritually maybe god can speak to you and the second i spoke about truth that even though sex is involved is he really the one for you and third i want to talk about the fact that um maybe the foundation is destroyed and the bible says that if the foundation is destroyed what shall the righteous man do i don't want to scare you but it is painful it is difficult um if you are not able to attain that you know um that virtue because right now you have given um both of you have given out something that is not good all right god doesn't want this god doesn't like sin god doesn't like fornication and premarital sex however even though the foundation is destroyed the bible tell makes us understand that um if a man defiles a virgin or someone's his daughter the person would have to marry this daughter because already they have been some form of what intimacy so that this daughter does not get another husband to marry because in the olden times if you were heard that you had slept with somebody or gotten or someone had seen your nakedness it means that you might you, you would have reduced your price as a woman so therefore this man has seen your nakedness yes the foundation is destroyed but you can amend it if truly he ends up marrying you if truly he is the one for you if truly you love him he makes you happy and he paying your bride price in full and doing every rightful need to marry you as a wife <coughs> jackpot you have done right honestly you have done right if at the end of the day all this that you've gone through is not in vain all the sex and the energies you have exchanged is not in vain all the lovely and the happy times you have exchanged is not in vain if truly he is the one way to go my sister way to go way to go and i'll be happy if truly everything works out well for you to get married to him that means you have not wasted your time you have not given out to the wrong person i hope i'm making this point right i am only getting real with you or the situation on the ground lastly i just want to encourage you
don't be depressed don't let this thing break you down yes i know when you offend god sometimes you might be broken down and then you want to revive that spirit again but do not let this exceed your normal life routine do not let it interrupt your daily production as a woman if you end up being a zero production woman or zero producing woman you are going to have problems with yourself all right so get hold of yourself and give yourself the space to learn this is an experience okay this at the end of the day is a memory that will either build an aspect of your life if the next time you find yourself in a relationship where you have not where you have not been able to marry him as a success resource results you will be able to be cautioned in your next relationship not to destroy the foundation so i encourage you don't get depressed sin is part of humanity we are like the yin the chinese yin and yang there is what black and white mixed together or if i may put it right there is a little black in a big white there is a little white in a big black so that is how humanity um is but at the end of the day we should be able to know that we are the heir to god's throne and if we allow satan always deceive us and take us down when we fall during our days of our adversaries we are at the end of the day rather running away from the love and the mercies of god okay the bible also talks about what cannot separate us from god because the love of god is strong when you talk about god coming to die on the cross of calvary for us it was beyond an intimate relationship it was beyond sex it was beyond getting pregnancy out of wedlock it was beyond abortion it was beyond marital issues it was beyond anything that you think is capable of drawing you out of the love of god it's a deception from the pit of hell so therefore get back on track and start to renew and rejuvenate your love for god at the end of the day you will get your standards clean you will come off clean and you will have the power to do the right thing that is all okay so you have falling it's a big fall flat down to your face but you can rise up again and you can say i can make things right okay i can do things right even though i have done this I will make it right and you go ahead and take accountability of your situations okay so um do not give yourself away do not give away your self-esteem your self-value and your self-worth because you've had sex with another brother and because you are a christian you have done a great sin you have disrespected yourself and the body of christ and blah 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 it has happened and you must put it behind you and move ahead to do what is right now you are seeking for solutions not regrets not blaming not pointing fingers at anybody you are your own self personality and you can make things right so god bless you and i will keep on praying with you that you get this right the 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 end result of this is that he should be the person for you for you to get married you might even get married and live a long life together have a beautiful family serve god together be an example to the youth when you grow all of these things are possible news they are good news in the kingdom of god but we are i'm not i'm not i'm disclaimer here i am not supporting premarital sex or fornication i'm saying that when the deed has been done we seek for what possible solutions that you will be able to move ahead with the body of christ so god bless you and then take good care of yourself eat well drink a lot of water get to exercise have um people who can help to counsel you um like people you trust to tell them they'll help you in prayer and as you're staying apart from this brother you will be involved in consuming the word of god you will come out clean okay so bye and god loves you all right